is teacher Fred again coming back in the studio to deliver this lesson again. Last time uh, we have been together, those who have been following the programs since it started, you know where we ended. So uh, we have been going through topic six and uh, for those who have been following us, they know where exactly we ended and where we are right now. Now I said the unit six deals with percentages ratios. Uh, we also deal with proportions at the same time mixtures. That is what we are handling. And for today's case, we are still proceeding with our topic. And at this time, round, I'm just going with the percentages specifically. And under percentages, I'm handling increasing numbers by percentage. For instance, you are given a certain number and they ask you to increase using a certain percentage which is given. It is what we are looking at at this time specifically. Let's look at example one and we see what exactly am I trying to mean to my candidates who are tuning to BTN TV for the lesson. I really appreciate you. A teacher's salary from Wisdom Center and primary school in Jesela district was increased by 30%. If the teacher was earning 150,000 francs, calculate the new salary scale. So when I look at this question here, they are talking about a certain teacher in which school? The school is found in Jesela district. And that school is known as Wisdom Center Nursery and Primary School. So when you go to that school, you'll find there is that teacher that was earning 150 francs and it was increased by 30%. They are asking us to calculate the new salary. Okay, we know the old salary, we know the percentage of increase, we know the original percentage, but we don't know the new salary. I want us to look at that on the points and the areas that they have given us to make sure that we can now find the increment. At the same time, after finding the increment, we want to find out the new salary scale that this teacher at this school is supposed to earn after receiving the increment of 30%. So we shall not waste a lot of time. We shall look at the, and say calculate the new salary. I'll come. Solution simply means I'm going to find for the answer. So let's come here. Since here there is no space, we shall say, first of all, look at the salary that the teacher has been earning. And that one we shall call it original salary or old salary. We shall call it old salary. Is equal to 1,550 thousand francs. The question said if the teacher was earning 150. So it means the old salary is equal to 150. 150 was the old salary. They want us to find the new salary. Remember all original original huh? Percentage is equal to original percentage is equal to 100 percent. That is original percentage, meaning that this salary of his at first it was valued at 100 percent. So this 100 percent original rate is giving him 150 percent. But remember, there are some changes which came in. And those changes are the changes we are calling as an increment. The increment was worth 30% 30 of the money has been earned. So we shall come and understand percentage, percentage increase. Percentage increase. What do they mean? What I say percentage increase? I'm meaning the percentage which was given and they are telling us that this teacher's salary was increased by that percentage. So I'm getting that 30%. 
which met an increment is calling percentage increase, which is equal to 30%. We are first of all identifying all. After identifying, we start working out the number because you cannot work out what you have written. You have to first identify. After identifying everything, you realize what is missing. Then from there, we, shall know, we have known old salary, we have known original percentage, we have known new, I mean, we have known uh, percentage increase. Then I will come here and say, new salary, new salary, new salary will be equal to, what will be our new salary? Do you know it? No, you don't know. It is what they want us to find out according to the question. So this is what we shall do. We shall say, new salary, we don't know. I will ask you permission. I will say, let the new salary, let new salary, let new salary be S, since it is salary. I will say, let the new salary or new salary be S. So new salary will be represented by letter S. We shall say new salary is equal to S. Okay. Then, this is method one. We come to method one. We come to method one. Method one, I will say, method one, I will say, for me to know a new salary, of this teacher here. What am I going to do? I'll first of all find 30% of the money given. 30% of the salary that he has been earning. So I'll say 30% of his salary that he's earning today. And which money is that? 150. So we shall say 30% of 150. How much does it give us? Is what I'm looking at. It is 150,000. Okay? Remember the word of simply means multiply. Now if it means multiply, then what are we going to do? We shall say 30 out of 100. 30% is the same as saying 30 out of 100. The word of we say it changes to multiplication. So I will say 30 out of 100 times 150,000 francs. 150 francs. What am I looking at? I'm looking at the percentage. This is 30 percent. What is it representing in this amount of money is what I want to know. Okay? So I'll say 3 0 out of 1 0 0 times 1000 uh, 1 5 0 0 0 0 francs. I've just copied this. 30 out of 100 times 150,000 francs. We are going to work out from here. I've just copied this statement and pasted it here. So I'll say this is 0 will cancel out with this zero. This zero will cancel out with this zero. What am I looking for? 30% of 150,000. So that one will give us 30 times 100, I mean 1,500,000. No, 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 1,500 francs. Okay, 30, uh, 30 times 1,500 francs. So let's multiply this out. I'll just get the zeros first of all. I'll count in the number of zeros I have. I'll say 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 francs. Don't forget units. After writing 3, I'll come here and say, 15 times 3, you group 15, 
Fifteen three times, it will give us 45. It's what I'm meaning by saying 15 times 3. Remember, this zero is already coped here. This zero is coped here. Zero is also coped here. So I'll have 45,000. I'll have 45,000. When I get my 45,000, 45,000 is now is now 30% of 150,000. But what do they want? They want us to find the new salary. And remember, the old salary was this. Meaning that if it was increased by 30%, they added him 45,000. Okay? They added him 45,000. And if they added him 45,000, according to you, once you hear the word increment, just know something is going to go up. When you hear degrees, just know it is going down. Now, since this is an increment, this person was given 150. Do you think when they talk about increment, is it going to go up or down? Simply, once you see, when you hear the word increment, just know his salary is going to increase or going to go up. So, we shall get the, or for us to get the new salary, we shall get the old price, not old price, old salary. After getting old salary, add 30%, which you have already calculated. Okay? So we shall say, to get new salary, to get new salary, we shall say new salary is equal to old salary plus increment. And the increment is 45,000. So we shall have our old salary, which is 150,000 francs plus 45,000 francs. 45,000 francs. Don't begin writing from this side. Come to the last digit. Put your units first. After putting your units, come to the last zero. Begin from the side of ones. Write your zero under that plus value of ones. Come to the second zero. Write it here. Come to the next one. Write it here. Come to five. Write it here. Come to four. Write it here. After writing everything there. We work out. We are now going to add. And when we add, we are going to come out with the new salary that this teacher is earning currently. So this will give us francs. We shall say zero plus zero, zero. Zero plus zero, zero. Zero plus zero, zero. Okay? Zero plus five, it will give us five. 5 plus 4, it will give us 9. 1 plus 0, it will give us 1. So from there, I will come here and say, therefore, okay, therefore, the new salary, new salary, the new salary will be equal to, how much have we got here? This is the old salary, 150, plus the increment. They added him more, 45,000. So we have come out with 195,000 francs. After there, get your ruler and underline your work. Underline your work. When you use a ruler to underline your work, your work will look neat. And once it looks neat, your teacher will take a step and mark you in a right way. There will be nothing like complaining. Teacher, you have not marked me this number. So from there, I want us to look at the second method. This was the first method of it. So I want us to go to the second method. The second method, we shall say, second method, second method, it will be, we want this, we said the original percentage 
original percentage original percentage is equal to 100%. Then given percentage given percentage is equal to 30%. Let us look at that and analyze this. They have given us new percentage and we know the only percentage is ever 100%. So if it is ever 100% and they have given us already 30% and that 30% it is not going to reduce the original price uh, the original percentage. Instead it is going to increase the original percentage. So we will say original percentage is equal to 100, given percentage is equal to this. Then we come out, we find the total of this. Okay? We shall say total percentage, total percentage will be equal to when we add 0 with 0, it will give us 0. 0 with 3, it will give us 3. 1 plus 0, 1. So, the total percentage we are having current, this is the new percentage. New percentage is what I'm calling total percentage. You can call it total percentage or new. New percentage. Any of the two can work. New percentage. So, after there, get your new percentage. That's our new percentage. New percentage will be 130 divided by the original percentage. What is our original percentage? Our original percentage is equal to 100 percent. So I'll say out of original percentage, which is 100 times how much was this teacher earning is now what we are going to multiply with. And the teacher was earning 150,000 francs. So if we are earning 150,000 francs, we are going to get one, uh, 130 out of 100 times 150 francs. Remember, 130 is the new percentage and 100 is the original percentage. And 150,000 is the salary that he has been earning formally. Times 150 percent. I mean francs. This is the salary the teacher was earning before they increased him. So after there, I'll copy all this statement. Just copy. There is nothing we are changing. I'm just copying the statement here. I say 130 divided by 100 times 150,000 francs. Okay? I'll cancel out this zero with this zero. Right? I'll cancel out this zero with this zero. Okay? So what are we remaining with? We are remaining with 100. 30 times 100, 1,050, 500, I'm so sorry, 130, which is here, times 1,500, thousand, ah, uh, francs, not thousand. Okay, so let us multiply this out. I'll go and work out my side work. From somewhere else, I will say rough work or side work. This is not part of this. I will get my 130, 1,500 times 130. This is 0 times 0, 0, 0, 0 times 0, 0, 0 times 0, 0, 0, 0 times 0, 0, right? 3 times 0, 0. 3 times 0, 0. 3 times 5, 15. We shall write 5, 1 here. 3 times 1, 3. Plus 1. We are adding this one here to make 4. Okay? Let's come to the next number. 1 times 0, 1. I don't write it here because of a place value. I said whenever you write, you have to consider place values. So I'm writing under hundreds because this one is under a hundred. 
Oh, it's under the place value of 100. So from there, I would say 1 times 0, again, it will give us 0. 1 times 5, it will give us 5. 1 times 1, it will give us 1. Let's now come to add. Let's put their placeholders. Placeholders, I have nothing, I have nothing, I have nothing. When I put it 0, it means nothing. I have nothing, I have nothing here, I have nothing here. Then let's add the number up. Here, 0 plus 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 5, 5. Plus 0, 5. 0 plus 4, 4. 4 plus 5, 9. Okay? Then we have 0 plus 0 plus 1. It will give us 1. So from there, I will come here and say eh, 130 times 1,500 francs will give me, uh, will give us 195,000 francs. And this is what we are calling new salary. This is what we are calling new salary. So after reaching there without wasting time, get your ruler and underline your answer. And underline your answer. Underline your answer using a ruler purposely to make your work look neat. We want the worker to look neat. In simple terms, we don't want your worker to be rubbed. Eh? We want lines to be straight. So when you look at the examples, when you compare example one and you compare example two, you realize that really everything is very simple. So you can just, as long as you first identify this, you can go with the first example. If you don't want to go with the first example, you can also use the second example. Any of them will give you the right answer without any compromise, without any change. So, that was our first example. Let's look at the second example. As we look at the second example, put this in mind. Stay at home. Take precautions that have been given by the government of Rwanda to prevent us from the uh, betamic disease. So after that, I want us to look at also another method. We have very many methods. You see, in mathematics, you don't rely on one method. If you have not understood the, uh, you have not understood the first method and you realize the second method you have not understood, please. Look at this third method. It may be easy for you, but all of them are correct and they all give us the same answer. So let's look at the third method. The third method, what are we going to do? This is what we are going to do. We have known the amount this teacher was earning at first. We know he was earning 150. And we have said, 150 is equivalent to 100%. One, uh, the original percentage is representing the money this teacher was earning at first. So we know very well that 100% gives us 150,000. Now, if 150,000 is given by 100%, ask yourself, what about 1%? Because what we know, we know already 100%. Okay? So we shall come here and say 100% is giving us how much? That is, his money was earning. It was giving us 150 thousand francs. This is for 100 percent. The money he was earning at first, it is which is represented by this. So we say 100 percent gives us his original. The original percentage is equal to the original money he was earning. Okay? Then, from there we need to ask ourselves. Let's find out. Let's ask ourselves. If 
100 percent gives us 100, uh, 150,000. What about one percent? Then I will come here and I say one percent is equivalent to 150,000 francs. Divide by 100. This 100 here, I'm getting this percentage. We know very well that 100% is equal to this. And if 100 is giving us 150,000 francs, then it means 1% will give us 150,000 francs, then we divide it by 100, the original percentage. And when you divide it by the original percentage, you realize that what we are going to get there, it will be for one percent. And if it will be for one percent, let's divide it out and we find out. We shall say one percent is equal to 150,000 francs. Divide by 100. This is zero. We'll cancel out this is zero. This is zero. We'll cancel out this is zero. So we shall come here and say one percent. One percent will give us 1,500 francs. This is for one percent. But remember, this teacher was increased. His salary was increased. What does it mean? When you say it was increased, which effect is it going to have on its original amount? If it affects its original amount, it means it will also affect its original percentage. So we shall say, when they increase him, he will come to a new percentage and a new amount of money. So we shall say, new, new percentage, new percentage, new percentage, we shall get the old percentage and we add the percentage of increment, whereby all the percentage is equal to 100 percent. This is now the old percentage. Then we add the new percentage. That new percentage is the percentage that is increasing his salary from 150 to another amount of money, which we don't know that we are looking for. So we shall have 100 percent plus 30 percent. Where are we getting 30 percent from? From the question. The question is said, a teacher's salary from Wisdom Center Nursery and Primary School in Vijayasera District was increased by 30%. That is where I'm getting 30%. So the new percentage will be 130%. From there, everything becomes now simple. Just say 1% is equal to 1,000. 1% has given us 1,500 francs. Then, what about 1,130 uh, percent? This is now the new percentage. This is the old percentage. One percent is giving us this. Now, I'll say 130 percent will be equal to 1,500 times 130 percent. Time 130 percent, not percent. We shall just get 130 percent is equal to 1,500 times 130, which will give us 195,000 francs. That is the amount that we, we are expected to get after the increment. Or oh, that teacher, when they increase the salary, is now getting 195,000 francs. Please, take note. If you cannot go through the number using the first example, I mean the first method, Use the second method. 
If the second method becomes a challenge to you, use the third method. All these methods gives you the same answer. In mathematics, we have so many ways of killing the rat. One can poison, one can beat, one can just uh, cut it live. One can buy a, a cat to eat it. So, we can kill the rat in different ways. Meanwhile, for today's case, when we look at our lesson of increasing numbers by percentages, we shall end here as I also leave you with something where you are seated watching. I want you also, as you are watching, as you are also writing something. I hope last time I emphasize on this and I advise you to get a new book. Such that that book, you will be writing all my work that we have been sharing on DTN TV. Then after when you get back, when schools open, you will get that work. You go to your teacher. With it, when you have already answered, you don't just copy questions and you take for him. Copy and answer right now. Use this time and answer this work. After answering it, take it to your teacher. Your teacher will get a pen and will mark you. will even give you the correct answers in case you have failed. But I believe if you have been following, you will not fail. So let's look at the activity. I have prepared for you. Here are some simple activity that you need to also uh, practice to, to prove that you have understood something. Question one says, Increase 81,000 oranges by 75 whole number, one and a half percent. Then from there, question number two says, Duse is earning 100,000 francs per month. She was promised an increment of 45%. How much money is she expected to earn after receiving her increment? That will be example two. Remember, this is what she's earning. Then they have promised to her this increment. And after this increment, they want you to tell them how much will she be earning? Besides that, we also have another example. Another example, uh, I mean another exercise, another gift number is here. Number three says, increase 9,000 trees. 9,000 trees by 25% and then after by 10%. What does this mean? For example, uh, you may be given a contract by the government, you who is watching the TV, okay? Then the government organization or an NGO around says, go and buy for us or plant for us 9,000 trees. Then after planting this, they tell you uh, they also get another place. Last time we planted 9,000 trees. This time around, we want you to increase the number by 25%. When you increase the number by 25%, you go and plant. After planting, they get another place, they say, after there, add more. We are now finding another increment by 10. Meaning that you'll first of all find the increment of 25%, you get the new number of trees. After getting the number of trees, that get again 10% increment of that new number of trees is what they are meaning here. Meanwhile, I always advise whoever follows our program that in case you want to find this piece of work, please simply go and subscribe on, MT, uh, on BTN TV. Yeah? Check on there, YouTube, Janos. Check there, on there, their tutor account, Janos. Subscribe there. Facebook accounts, Instagrams. At the same time, if you want to access the same type of work, just go to Wisdom Center website. You'll find everything that you'll use for remembrance purposes and so on for such purposes. Meanwhile, at this time, I take this initiative to appreciate our staff from BTN TV that has enabled this program to move across. We as teachers only, we could not make, we could not reach you where you are without their help. 
So in simple terms, I say, BTN staff, may God bless you as you continue serving our children academically. Thank you for picking interest and stay with us. We really appreciate at the same time, dear children, dear pupils, those who are at home, you know the situation is very tough at the moment. Please take care, stay home, avoid handshakes, avoid uh, bottle contacts in simple terms. Stop these things of hugging one another. Whoever comes to hug you, please give him distance as the government has always emphasized. Please, once we follow their directives, the government directives, everything will work out and everything will be possible. I wish you well as tomorrow. Keep time at exactly nine back. I will be there again. I wish you well. Nice time.